主よこの人にも救済が必要なのでしょうか One second all tech issue, uh, skill issue on my end. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. VTube Studio was being cringe and it looks like it still is. Nope, nope. Okay, there we are. <laughs> Man, I love being a professional who is very experienced in the world of tech and definitely never has self-inflicted tech issues that I can't blame on the application. I love that never once has that happened. <laughs> Hello, Light. Hello, Ancient. Hello, Muhammad. Hello, Anna. Hello, Zave. Hello, Shikatsu. Welcome, everyone. Hey, Samuel Castillo. Good to see you could make it today. <laughs> I've missed your presence too. Wink. <laughs> No, but seriously, hope you've been well, everybody. Today, I will be doing pulls for Hodora. And while I was setting this up, I decided, you know what? Look at this guy. If this doesn't motivate you to do squats, which are my least favorite exercise, what possibly does? <laughs> so for every pull I do that is not Hodora, I will do a singular squat. You technically have no way of tracking that, but given I purchased a Spectre cosplay because of a dumb bet, <laughs> I would like to think I've earned a little bit of leeway in terms of trustworthiness, and my model will probably spaz out, so it's not like it'll, um, be completely unseeable on your end. <laughs> but I figured that could be a fun challenge rather than me trying to bluff out, uh, trying to think of some threat or something I can use to convince Hodora to show up. So I'll just be getting gains to try and match, uh, this goodness, shall we say. <laughs> Hello, Siari Hiyo. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but welcome, welcome, welcome! How's everyone's day going? Hopefully it's all going well. I'll also be doing viewer pulls if people are interested, which yes, that does mean you can torment me by making me do extra squats. <laughs> You're in time for the first time. <laughs> Welcome, Crocodilly Glasses. It's great to have you here. And yeah, I, uh, I know my stream schedule is, shall we say, painful because I'm in an Australian time zone. <laughs> I'm trying to vary it up a bit more. Uh, but because I now work in the office, my timings are even more limited. But it's great to see you! 250 pulls? I hope not. I don't have 250 pulls. I don't- I did just today get paid for the first time at my new job, so I do finally know uh, how much I'm going to be earning each month, but that doesn't mean I want to spend money on a free-to-play game. <laughs> I- I try to avoid spending money on this stuff. No shame if you do, though. Let you pretend pay your camera, what for, Hodora or for me doing squats? Unfortunately, uh, yes, I do have a thigh button, but I don't- this model is only one way. You can't see me from behind, and even if you could, the jacket would be in the way, and there is just no way for me to remove the jacket, so you wouldn't have much of it of you. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. <laughs> you want to see the devil's ass? Okay, so yeah, yeah, sweet. Just to confirm, you were talking about Hodora then. Because I'm only a metaphorical devil, not a literal one. So cute. Oh, what, my thighs? Thank you very much. <laughs> Monthly card squad maximum efficiency. How did you know? Also, chapter 13 has been kind of fun so far. Not gonna lie, I ran out of sanity though. 
because clearing on the highest difficulty, even first try, is <laughs> very expensive. So I have one stage to go, I don't have the sanity for it, and I will do it tomorrow. <laughs> Or probably the day after, because I've thought of a meme run. Uh, that'll be good fun. What do you mean? Closures are suckers. Hey, do you see horns? Do you- Oi, oi, oi. Do you see horns here? Do I have horns? <laughs> I'm gonna gas the place. I'm not gonna stab you with my horns. I know a lot of you want it, though. <laughs> He's showing the model to edge artists to make not safe for work fan art. I mean, I am almost certainly going to be the first person to draw porn of South. Because that is what Wei has requested as a reward for winning the tournament. So even though it'll be very basic, probably only a two color, because um, theoretically it was supposed to be a chibi style sketch until he asked for a lewd. <laughs> I will still almost certainly be the first one. No horns on stream, all the horniness in chat. <laughs> yeah, you stole all of my horniness. Uh, also, updates on projects. I finally uh, stopped distracting myself with 20 different things at once. I'm halfway done the 1k sub celebration. <laughs> and I've cut the Helltaker video down to about three minutes. So two things should actually be coming out in the near future. And I think I've figured out a better workflow where I won't just be a dumbass who doesn't post videos since January. <laughs> Is it fun editing the six hours of livestream? I very intentionally have not started editing the tournament yet. And I won't until I finish Vanguards and Supporters, because I'm very keen to edit the tournament, but I have a list of like eight other videos I'm in the process of making. <laughs> so I need to find some way to force myself to finish the tournament, vi uh, those videos, so I can't do the tournament video until I've done those. That's, that's uh, how I figured out I'll do it. Yeah, Way is pretty based. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the reason I called it the Giga Chad tournament was because... I, I reminded myself of Wei. <laughs> Just the way he does things. Alrighty, that is enough entry level yapping. That's not what we're here for. I mean, technically that is what we're here for. But realistically, we're also here for this guy. And not gonna lie, personally, I'm not a hoda or a simp. I really like Vendela's design. Vendela, definitely my favorite of the banner. But I've got to get all of them. <laughs> I'm currently only missing three units, and those are all of the three banner units, because I did not pull at work today. <laughs> How do I prove that I do squats? It isn't really possible because I don't have body tracking, and body tracking is really expensive. I highly doubt I will ever have a 3D model because that shit's expensive. Uh, but okay, let me do let me do a test squat and see how much it shows. I could also try to configure my um heartbeat tracker to show on screen, but not gonna lie, I probably won't actually raise my heart rate that much because I'm just doing body weight squats. <laughs> One second, let me, okay, let's see what this looks like. I need a, oh great, another amazing uh, facial expression from me. Need to very quickly <laughs> shift my mic, hopefully you can hear me okay. So this is what a squat will look like. Wow, you really can't see that at all, but my model spazzes out. <laughs> Okay, that was a deep squat, uh, ass to glutes, uh, ass to shins, uh, back of my calves, that's the word. <laughs> so wait, let me, uh, I'll, I'll try holding my phone, uh, so that VTube Studio can still track me. Does that look any better? No. <laughs> Damn, I guess there really is no way for you to verify. But I will be doing squats, no one forced me to do this, I'm doing this in my own volition, so I'm not gonna cheat. And come the time I'm inevitably at a hundred squats, I will probably be huffing and puffing and out of breath. The law implications of Vendela are not worthy. Don't nut to law implications. You can do way, way better. A lot of people pulling for Vendela. I just really like her design. Uh, is it a surprise? <laughs> Look at her. All right, let me get uh, some background music so that when I'm inevitably yapping, because the um, Arknights menu music is super loud for whatever reason. For whatever reason. I need to make a conscious effort to start actually not stuttering my words quite as much. So where were we? Where were we? There we are. And I'll quickly audio balance this so that it's not deafening. <laughs> there we go. Let me know if that's too loud. Let me know if that's too quiet. That might be a bit loud. If so, I will fix it. You're here because you want to see me play. You don't know anything about Arknights. <laughs> uh, well, there won't be too much gameplay today. 
we will just be doing gambling, but in a way that is what a gacha game consists of, a lot of gambling. So really I'm just giving you the full gacha experience. The aim is to get this attractive man, uh, for most people because he's a strong unit meta wise, but realistically I'm going for this orange haired cat girl because I think she's very cute and I have every character so I don't want to miss one and be stuck in a nightmare trying to get it. <laughs> But it's great to have you here anyway, Sam. Sorry I probably won't be doing too much gameplay. I mean, usually pull streams are pretty short, so I might do like IS or something and waffle a bit, uh, because I <laughs> I have the time and I enjoy waffling. <laughs> but that's that's for after. Every Hodera plus five kilograms. I'm only going to one Hodera unless I don't have the five star, in which case I'll keep going. What the fuck is going on with the story? Don't worry about it. Ayo, hey Tyfe! Nice to see you again. How have you been? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, man. I will, uh, you've missed a very quick summary, which is for every pull I don't get Hodera, I'm doing a squat. <laughs> Mandela, that's it. You mean the armpit? No, I'm not showing my armpits. Hodor is basically Guts from Berserk. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has those same vibes. It was funny seeing the glow up of his NPC version <laughs> compared to the cake he has now. <laughs> Get ripped? Eh, not so much. This, I know it's um hard to believe because no one's seen what I look like. I'm by no means ripped. I will preface like that. I enjoy junk food more than I should, so I do have a little bit of a stomach. But I am actually really, really fit. <laughs> so I will probably get to about 70, 80 squats before I start getting even slightly out of breath. Uh, but that depends how quickly I do these pulls and how much yapping there is. Good luck on getting Cutter. Thank you, Light. I did get a Cutter earlier. This recruitment slot right here, number one, that is currently blank. Beforehand, I got a Cutter from it. I got very, very lucky. <laughs> Weighted squats? Nah, nah, just body weight, just body weight. Other I don't want to get too sweaty because I don't have a heart rate monitor or anything. <laughs> so, and there's the stream can't really see, so there's no real way to prove it. And it'd be embarrassing if you just thought I was here just getting sweaty doing nothing. You like the pretty designs? A, hey, that's great to hear. If you're into husbandos, Hodora. Oh right, I should um, you don't play the game so you won't be aware. A whole bunch of really amazing uh, skins just dropped. So for waifu enjoyers, we're eating good. <laughs> All of these four right here, brand new skins people have been looking for for a while. As, uh, if you're horny, people have been looking forward to Whisperain's skin. <laughs> For obvious reasons. And if you're not horny, people have been looking forward to Fear Meta's skin. And this is one of my favorite skins of all time. It is just so pretty. <laughs> Plus, I'm a massive enjoyer of Plate. Can't pull for Hodora because he threatens your relationship of Ines. <laughs> with Ines. I mean, he. I, I've also loved all the fan art of people drawing Hodora holding a U official body pillow because he simps for U official. That was very, very wholesome around April Hulls. Uh, get him uh, first 10 pulls, you're unsubscribing. That's not going to happen, don't worry. <laughs> if you want to read the story without dealing with a gacha game, you can read all of it online. Yes, I've recently been doing that. It is way, way easier. Uh, th fear meta skin for her grandpa. Yeah, her grandpa is very, very wholesome and cute. But also, ladies in plate armor. Am I right? It's it's ladies in suits, but even better. <laughs> Oi, why are you taking a sus photo? What's wrong about it? Uh, was that of Whisperain skin? Sorry, I'm a bit delayed today. <laughs> if so, very, very fair to take a sus photo of either of Whisperain's skins. Whisperain is a weird combination of horny and wholesome. Also, a lot of the male operators are stained glass windows in the background, and it's Really, really cute attention to detail. Dorothy's effects. I don't use her S3, so her S2 just is a straight downgrade, but it's a great skin. <laughs> show us the luck of... Okay, fine. I'll show you the luck of low light. <laughs> Look at the apple pie. <laughs> Good day, muffin with nothing. You've joined at r the perfect amount of time. Every squat, I don't get Hodora, I'll be doing a squat. Uh, every pull, I don't get Hodora, I'll be doing a squat. I really need to focus on speaking words. It's kind of necessary when streaming. Do people use Dorothy? Absolutely. She's great. Keep in mind, she has ridiculously high attack speed. <laughs> and look at her base attack. Now that might not sound like much, <laughs> but when you remember she has higher attack speed than any AA sniper. <laughs> She's basically one of the best anti-air snipers in the game. 
Okay, now, that being said, that is enough warm-up yapping as much as I'm enjoying it. Let me shift my chair out of the way. I won't be needing it for a little bit. My dog isn't in the dog bed, so I can safely kick it from a distance to make it move. The dog bed, not the dog. I would never kick my dog. There we are. Now let me adjust the microphone one more time. <laughs> to the default I usually have it at for when I am singing. <laughs> Can't see, but you believe? Hey, thank you, Chris. I'd like to think by the fact that I purchased a Spectre cosplay for effectively no reason, I've earned a little bit of faith. <laughs> I do not kick my dog. My dog is very, very sweet. <laughs> Didn't get in as too late for W. I mean, there is going to be a W alter in the near future. It's been leaked. Tuck is cancelled. No. <laughs> okay, first off, I don't use Twitter really. So how are you going to cancel me? <laughs> I, I have like no viewership and I don't use Twitter. <laughs> I, in the grand scheme of things, I'm very happy for each of you being here. That's not a dig against you guys. It makes me very, very happy that all of you show up. <laughs> but no one... No one knows who I am. <laughs> I was really shocked when I hopped into Discord chat yesterday and a whole bunch of people were like, Yo, it's Tarkus, it's Tarkus. I was very confused and flattered. Okay, now let's go. Just for fun, we'll start off with a single. Best of you. <laughs> oh, we have our first bot of the day, presumably. That's fine. Now, just for funsies, just for funsies. Naturally, we don't get Hodor, we get nothing. We get a Melantha, starting off strong, one squad. Eh. Man, okay, it's gonna take a while before I get out of breath. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I, I know theoretically I am a micro celeb. Uh, I'm actually IRL a larger celebrity than I am online. <laughs> I'm still very much a micro celeb. But let's just say that a significant percentage of the entire population of the two nearest states of Australia to where I live, which is New South Wales and ACT, would recognize me IRL. <laughs> like, a full percentage of the people who live there would recognize me. <laughs> because one of my jobs was, um... I won't go into details, I don't want to dox myself. But yeah, like... <laughs> it's a, it's weird. <laughs> a lot of people still recognize me day to day, and I never recognize them, obviously. I'm not the head... <laughs> I'm not low light. I'm Tarkus. <laughs> or self. Am I an AFL player? No, I'm not that fit. Um... When I say I'm fit, I mean like, when I say I'm a belly and when I say I'm fat and out of shape, I'm fat and out of shape for a fit guy. <laughs> I box. I, I've never really been into AFL. Um, so I'm by no means like, jacked Omega Giga Chad, but I am 6'2", and I am 100 kilos. <laughs> and only a couple of kilos of that are fat, so I am relatively jacked, I'm relatively jacked. Basketball player? No, 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 just a boxer. This is sus. What part about this is sus? <laughs> Among us. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's go for a tenfold. Enough wasting time. Not that yapping is ever a waste of time because I enjoy it. Not sports related. Uh, nah, I've never been watched for a bit. Yo. <laughs> well, you know what, that Asian boy, the good news is I've guaranteed it wasn't in the first 10 pulls because this is 11 pulls. So this means you can't unsubscribe. Checkmate, atheists. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I'll still, even if, even if this is him, oh, <laughs> streamer luck is real. <laughs> okay, never mind, we started with Chestnut, this is actually unlucky. Uh, so yeah, what was it, two or three five stars, two six stars? <laughs> now that being said, naturally, Chestnut, not Hodora. There we go, one quick squat, <laughs> stream is over. <laughs> no. Now obviously, another squat. <laughs> What a day to choose to do a punishment. <laughs> Three star, another squat. Sadaro at four, that's absolutely nothing. Still, it's been a long time since I got a double six star. That feels amazing. Five star, definitely a squat. Oh, Akafuyu, not Vendela. Hopefully we do get a Vendela. She's very cute. <laughs> Akafuyu is also cute. I love her design and her art style. Back-to-back -back five stars. Andriana, ooh, unfortunate. Another squat. <laughs> Not that I'm ever gonna complain about getting a five star while pulling. Okay, first of two six stars, first of two. Ooh, you nectars. Okay, there's hope, it could have not happened. Hodora is not guaranteed. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, four people rage quit because they got two six stars. <laughs> it's fair. Oh, right, right. Uh, squat for you, please. Squat for Beagle. Am I going to build them immediately? No, and I will show you why. <laughs> Once we're done this temple. Squat for Amri. Oh, I might need to stretch out my knee. <laughs> I really should have stretched ahead of time. Okay, second six star, second six star. <laughs> Get demolished, everybody. I don't need to do a squat for that one now, do I? <laughs> I changed the rates. Damn it, you caught me. I did, I did. <laughs> if you'd done a temple at exactly the same time I did, another squat, <laughs> you also would have gotten them. Checkmate, atheists. <laughs> Hey, I, I still need a pull. I'm missing the harder to get one, which is the five star. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm definitely planning to build Hodora. Okay, now let me quickly show you why I'm not going to build them immediately. So, um... Uh, I'm currently in the process of leveling Delphine, and I'm out of XP. And the reason I'm out of XP... <laughs> is because I spend my XP incredibly efficiently. <laughs> Uh, don't ask questions, this will make sense eventually, but I need to get basically everyone here completely maxed out. <laughs> Rigged, yes sir, yes sir! I looked into the code, all of the donations I got during the tournament, uh, they fueled my luck, they made it a guarantee. <laughs> Base to level 90W, yes, I also finally have a M9, so checkmate, my W is finally stronger than yours, Liv. <laughs> okay, that being said, we did not get Hodora, that means more squats abound, more squats abound. But that was... <laughs> that was ridiculously lucky. Level 90, Hodoro makes perfect sense, so give me like three weeks. I might have to level him, I need to do some math. That's my 1k video. <laughs> he might qualify. <laughs> I know Delphine doesn't, because she's a mystic caster. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Rigged in favor. This is streamer luck. This is why you should let me do your pulls, ladies and gentlemen. Hodor a pot two? No, but we're 21 pulls in and this is my third six star. At minimum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my shins belong to you. Nah, uh, good luck with that. Ponsorus already lays claim to them. Stop changing the rates. Hey, it's not a double six star bag. It's just the one. That's how you know I'm changing the rates. See? Just one six star and one five star. <laughs> <laughs> One squat for me. Now it stopped being funny and ascended to comedy. Yeah, I know, right? Imagine if I get him again. <laughs> I mean, we've got a lot of limited... <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, Sam. I'll, I'll deactivate dev mode as soon as I get Vendella, don't you worry. <laughs> okay, another squat for midnight. <laughs> I'll deactivate dev mode. Now I'm just making everyone feel bad. Is this Vendella? Please, please, please. Ah, damn it. No, no, no. Dev mode coming back on. Surely, surely. I mean, to be fair, if you watch my Typhon banner, <laughs> this is just making up for that. Oh, hurry up, Typhon. Another squat for Jessica. Hey, Jessica. My IRL friend who plays Arknights absolutely hates Jessica, and I don't know why, but like with a burning passion. Another squad for Orchid. Okay, so there is a possibility I make this into a video just because this will be a short stream and easy to edit. <laughs> yeah, Hodora canon canonically watches a YouTuber, so uh, Hodora, say hi in the chat. I know you're here right now. <laughs> He's watching a YouTuber get an ass as massive and ridiculous as his. <laughs> okay, now the question is... How many more squats will I have to do before I get Vendella? <laughs> one for Melantha. One for Spot. <laughs> but damn, he's a massive VTuber fan. He's really hooking me up. <laughs> Stop blowing your cards. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot I didn't have Vedant. Sweet. So now I have all but one member of the banner. Pulling videos are the best way to get views. Only if you make them funny. <laughs> I struggle with that sometimes. Now come on, come on, we just need a Vendela, we just need a 5 star. 
Unless I get a six star, which I won't. See? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, ten squats. I'll do them back to back. Not going to watch through all of that. There, now that you have received confirmation it's not rigged, let me get another six star right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that feels amazing, that feels amazing. So, uh, I, yeah, dev confirmed, everybody. Hello, Chillabelle! Uh, sad to see you go, Tyfe, but, uh, kind of understandable. <laughs> the rig is real. <laughs> yes, sir, the rig is real. And check this out. Okay. I'll go through them one at a time until the six star and then skip. One for plume. Two percent, by the way. No, 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 I changed the rates. I changed the rates. Uh, temporarily ten percent. Trust. Another squad for Kuora. <laughs> Three out of four, and the other one was Unectes, so t today's a thigh kind of day. <laughs> Save some for everyone else? No, sir, you're gonna have to take him from my cold dead hands. Now let's skip to the end, and hopefully it is Vendela. Oh, Aosta. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more squats. Seven. Pot 17 Hodoro before the 5 star. That basically happened to me on Mountain's Banner when I wanted one copy of Kafka. <laughs> pot 3 Hodoro. Can we get Pot 4 before we get Vandela? Time to find out. If only Jessica Pauls was like this. I know, right? Okay, just a 5 star. Just a 5 star. But that's what I'm going for, so I'll take it. Come on, Vandela. Come on. Ah, but Rock Rock's cute as well. Another 10 squats. Easy as. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't got any of the raid up five stars so far, but we have gotten the other raid up. <laughs> Why am I pulling for a 5 star anyway? Because I have every character in the game, and also she's really, really cute. If you want to sum up, like, my tastes, Vendela and Project Red. <laughs> there you go. That's a perfect summary. <laughs> oh, true, true, true. I hadn't thought about that. I should up the rates for the 5 star instead of the 6 star. Yeah, yeah, Let me quickly change the code. Floof and Edge, damn it, you're on to me. <laughs> uh, that's uh, not a joke, by the way. I am very much an Edge Lord. I mean, you've heard tiny bits of my VTuber lore, so. <laughs> and yeah, I definitely love Ponsorus, but that's uh, that started out as a meme, and then just I found the meme funny enough that I now love her, unironically. Damn, like, you know, you were really right. I should have just upped the odds for the five star. That was way easier. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I really need to listen to Light more often. Just rig it so that you get a 5-star in the next pull, and it's guaranteed Vendela. <laughs> okay, so... With a total of 42 pulls, we got 3 Hodora, a Unectes, and Vendela. <laughs> right, that wasn't even any uh, many squats. I've barely broken a sweat. Let's go. Let me sit back down. I don't need to stand up anymore. Banner done. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. Very easy. All I needed to do was just up the rates of the five star. Oh, wait, right just in my face. There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> All right. Now, if anyone wants me to do viewer pulls, I'm very happy to. But I assume you've already spent all of your pulls on this banner. <laughs> Which I bet you're regretting now, given the streamer luck you just witnessed. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> what a pulling session. <laughs> Am I going to play through the chapter at all? I mean, I have already kind of, um, beaten the chapter. I will play through once we unlock the hard modes. There's no real purpose for a boomer like me to play through on stream, though, because I first tried all of the chapters and only stopped because I ran out of sanity. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, let me, uh, let me show my auto-deploy so you know that, like, um, it's not like I was using god-tier team or anything. Like, this was by no means a super hard tryhard. I used the same team for basically every stage. I just, like, completely brute forced it. No thought, head empty. <laughs> no, no, Mylar's definitely god tier because he completely nullifies the mechanic uh, where they drop these Bloodspawn spawn, spawn uh, dagger, uh, blood amber, that's the term. <laughs> and blood amber are really tanky, except for Mylar, who can just brute force kill him anyway. <laughs> Hi, Taki, how are the rolls going? Okay, so, um... We did 42 rolls, the meaning of life, perfect number. We got Vendella, we got three copies of Hodora, and we got Unectors. <laughs> and we also got a whole bunch of other five stars, so let's actually go through and see um, who I can raise. Most of these are just Paradox Sims that I need to go through, that's fine. Kafka's already maxed out, so no point checking her. I did get a few other five stars. Uh, did I... I got a Unectors pot, let's start. Uh, Unectors, I know she's not full pot. Oh no, she is, my mistake. Oh, never mind, I'm blind. I was thinking that wasn't the case. <laughs> Mliner himself is a god tier team, I know, right? Wild account? Yeah, my account's um a little scuffed, but very, very developed. No Scardi skin downvote. What do you mean? I have Scardi skin. I have both copies of Scardi with their skins. <laughs> Medium serious question. How heavy is power creep in this game? For quite a while, I would have said power creep was basically non-existent. Now there has started to be some power creep, but given how long the game has been out, that's very, very understandable. That being said, compared to most other gacha game, I would say the power creep is very, very light. With the exception of a couple of upcoming banners, which haven't come out in EN yet, but have come out in CN, which is the Chinese server which is six months ahead of EN. One character in particular, uh, her name is Irene. She's a very, very strong character. Uh, like, one of the stronger characters in the game. There's a character called Dagenbrecher coming out who is a directly upgraded version of Irene who gets a special debuff on top of that. So there's definitely power creep in Arknights, but overall, I've played quite a few gachas. Um, the reason I'm still playing Arknights, the power creep is not insane. Some of the launch operators are still very, very, very strong. Uh, Bagpipe, for example, has been in the game almost since launch. He is arguably the best unit in the game. Like, just blanket statement. <laughs> uh, let me actually filter so I can remind myself by acquisition date. Okay, so yep, Angelina, she's strong. She was always niche, though. Uh, let's see, what other six stars do I have? But basically, like, there's definitely some power creep in the game, unfortunately. But units like Lapland, for example, she's not even a high rarity unit. She's a five star, they're a... Si so she's the equivalent of the... She's the second from highest <laughs> rarity. So pretty common. She's game-breakingly strong about half the time and kind of okay the rest of the time. Saria is going to get relatively power crept soon. Uh, it's it's hard to explain without the context of the meta. Because uh, none of these units, now that I think about it, will make sense to you. But there's a lot less power creep in the game than there are in most other gachas. Should you pull for Degenbrecher <laughs> even if you have Irene? Yes. Degenbrecher is Irene and SSS, but out of SSS, if that makes sense to you. Degenbrecher is Irene, but auto-recharge. <laughs> Best caster uh, from day one. Yeah, yeah, KB and Ifrit. <laughs> Compared to year one operators... Yeah, uh, some of the newer operators were finally reaching the point where I'd say there is actually starting to get power creep. But to be fair to the devs, they're still very much trying out new things. For example, Fiametta. Fiametta doesn't power creep anyone. She does something completely unique. None of the others of her archetype resemble Fiametta in gameplay, which is very impressive because Fiametta is relatively recent. <laughs> so they're still doing their best to avoid power creep, and I'd say they're actually doing a very good job. It is kind of inevitable, but they're making it as slow as they possibly can, and the game is still balanced so that launch operators will still be really, really strong. <laughs> yeah, Degen... 
is kind of an exception. <laughs> Uh, from someone who plays fair power creep in this game is nothing. Oh yeah, I used to play Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, <laughs> to put it in perspective... Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, that, that's a good way to put it in. Arknight says uh, Fire Emblem Heroes if every character was Reinhardt. <laughs> You'll know what that means. You can't power creep Reinhardt, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Rosa, Rosa has kind of been power creeped, but even then she still has her niche with just completely stunning two enemies. Even Vigil is usable. Yeah, unironically, Vigil is usable, and he's very much the worst six-star. The entire Executor archetype. Uh, yes, the only blatant example of six-star power creep is Texas the Omotosa and Kirin R. Yeto. I would agree with that. They are the only two who completely directly power crept other six-stars. To the, Like, even Saga versus Siege. Saga and Siege both still have uses. <laughs> Rose's bind is crazy good, yeah. Ro like, it's really- I'm trying to think of ways to explain this to someone who doesn't play Arknights, but basically just- <laughs> I've played Fire Emblem Heroes, I've played Fate Grand Order, I've played a whole bunch of other Gacha games. Uh, there is very minimal power creep. So if a tower defense looks like your kind of thing, absolutely give it a shot. <laughs> it's also very, very free to play friendly, even though, like, you will not usually get as lucky as I just did then. <laughs> You also get a, some of the very, very strong meta units are completely free, and they regularly give you free units, so it's good fun. Now, right, what was I doing? I was finishing upgrading the units I had. So who did I get? Who did I get? <laughs> I got distracted on a tangent. My brain isn't good at recovering from those. I should just be able to look for five stars so I don't have max pot. I did get a couple new pots, which is very, very nifty. I know it's not Savage here when it comes out on anniversaries. <laughs> Trying to remember who I got is a uh, exercise in futility. Most of these could just be um voice updates. Actually, I generally have most of the five stars close to full pot. <laughs> so let's just uh, let's rank up Hodora. I was doing squats and he respected that. La Pluma is so satisfying. Yeah, La Pluma. I'm really impressed by La Pluma. They made her way too strong. <laughs> she's directly stronger than Executor in a lot of ways, which is very very funny. Uh, she's directly stronger than Haimo in IS3. They really hyper buffed La Pluma for no reason. I can go to- oh yes, right, I can, um, that's very smart. I can ditch all the tokens I've already used and then go to tokens and see who I have. <laughs> okay, I got Rock Rock and Vedant. Sweet, thank you. That makes that way, way faster. Just before I inevitably forget, I had some welfare units like Minimalist at pot 5 for ages because I just forgot to give them their tokens. Where's Rock Rock? I do have her E2, right. She's hard to spot because of her skin. Hey! That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Then we have Vedant, who I remember is a specialist, because I don't like his general vibe. <laughs> Silver Ash is very close to matching Lina. Okay, as much as I am um, a Silver Ash enjoyer, that is just wrong. <laughs> I understand why you think that, but the second the enemy has armor, you will notice the difference. <laughs> La Pluma is stronger than most of the 5-stars. La Pluma is ridiculously game-breaking. Okay, let me turn off the stream music and... Um, Add back the default game music. <laughs> Damn, I expected this to go longer. I saved up all of this Originium and Originium Prime like a good boy. I saved up in preparation for this banner and nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I didn't even get through my tickets. Right, wrong one. I need to unmute it in these settings. Silverash mostly has utility. Yeah, the fact that him being in your team just gives everyone in decreased redeploy time is very, very fun. <laughs> Design of Strife, worst event they've ever made. That's my thoughts on it. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, wrong one. Design of Strife. Okay, so you guys probably know I'm an Omega Boomer. I did not bother to clear S3. I would rather skip these rewards than clear S3. <laughs> I finished Reclamation Algorithm. Like, finished. Finished. <laughs> that is the level of bad... Like, just gameplay design-wise... They completely nullified all of their mechanics. It was so strange. So to start us off, all of the enemies are just standard enemies except for one new one. Except all of their stats are raised to the point where they one-shot everyone and are basically invulnerable. Because, you know, that's really fun game design. The trauma intervention stages, the whole gimmick was, hey, look, there's multiple different waves. And then on the final hardest difficulty, there's only one wave. They completely abandoned the mechanic. All of the buffs you can't use without not just decreasing your score, but preventing progression because it doesn't count as a clear. I just... What were they doing? 
<laughs> Why did they do it this way? <laughs> they probably won't be making a design of Strife 2, let me tell you that. <laughs> You couldn't get a skin? Oh, that sucks. It is a very, very cute cardigan skin. I still use the other one because it's an Omega Boomer cardigan skin. <laughs> but it's very stylish. Baguette. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let me switch to this for a while. I should I should show off my new skin. Mudrock jump scare? What about Mudrock jump scare? What do you mean? <laughs> Just here? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see the jump scare. You didn't even finish the A stages. Ah, oh, yeah. <sighs> Even A3 was just so painful. Don't you love it when you're punished for engaging? Yeah, this, that's the main problem. The good thing about Contingency Contract, and it still runs like a mini version of this that I can show off now. So, oh wait. No, it, it doesn't really apply, and no, it's not currently running. It doesn't really apply so much for Contingency Contract. The best part of, of CC's design is the base stage is a very fair level of difficulty, and then you're rewarded for making it harder on yourself in ways you choose. In Design of Strife, the base difficulty is ridiculously hard, and you have the option to make it easier, but if you do, you get punished as a player. That is psychologically terrible design. A really good example of this is, um, I never played World of Warcraft, but back in the day they experimented, experimented with, um, you start, you get an XP penalty the longer you play the game. So if you played for five hours, say, you'd get normal XP, but then on hour six you get reduced XP, and on hour seven you get even more reduced XP, and so on and so forth until you're earning nothing, and that felt terrible. So what they did was they swapped it around, so when you're offline, you gain a temporary bonus that you get when you next log in. People hate feeling like they're being punished, especially being punished for playing the game. So this took what was really good about CC and completely inverted it and made it just absolutely dog shit terrible. I have no idea what the designers were thinking because they're usually really good at making events relatively newbie friendly even though they sometimes like with reclamation algorithm. It needed more time to cook. Uh, I am looking forward to RA2 though. RA1 was one of my least favorite events but I'm looking forward to the sequel because the concept was fun. The concept of this is a really brutal stage and you can't buff yourself and if you buff yourself the game will try to make you feel bad for it <laughs> you mimicked the four star strat it sucked so bad yeah it just it was not a beginner friendly or moderate experience player friendly um map and it wasn't varied enough to be fun end game content because there was effectively only three maps Ah, uh, no, I was never planning to do a DOS, um, handhold. I have resolved my monitor issue. But DOS was just so unfun that I didn't even finish it. I didn't finish it on my account. That's how bad it was. <laughs> You'd love the co-op with friends live on Discord. Oh, I was around for that. Uh, I was in a different Discord server at the time, just helping people out. And I would essentially solo carry it for them. It was so fun to, um, help a whole bunch of new players right as they were starting, starting Arknights. And even beyond building custom strategies for them, I was able to literally play a co-op mode and run it through with them. That was so fun. I understand why they probably won't ever bring the co-op game mode back, but it was very, very fun. <laughs> we really need something for hardcore boomers. Yeah, you do kind of get sick of IS eventually, and SSS is just bad. <laughs> it's way too repetitive. Uh, though I'm glad they made it way easier and faster. But yeah, I really hope they do give us more endgame content. Uh, because it only applies for, like, super hardcore players like me. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I'm by no means the hardest, of course. Just, like, on the bell curve, I'm quite high up. <laughs> but IS is definitely good. Because previously, once you're at the stage I'm at now, I've pulled all of the banner ca characters. I'm out of resources. I have no sanity. Nothing you can do in the game. Just <laughs> all you could do was farm the daily CC slots and use your practice plans. <laughs> The server load is probably 20 times what they used to for co-op. The co-op was really, really fun, though. The training grounds, just the CC events on loop. That would be really, really fun. Um, that was sort of what they did. All of the rotating CC stages, it included the main CC stages. Just nerfed versions. But that would be a really, really fun way of doing it. Though, obviously, then it's a case of, well, part of the appeal was the fear of missing out. It's not like these events. CC was a... It's, it's like the medals. Um, a good example. CC2's medal. Let me see if I can find it. Might take me a second. Uh, nope, that's Path to Glory. There we are. Medals list obtained. Contingency contract is no longer a separate tab. That's a shame. But I am missing some of these... Um, <laughs> I'm missing some of the CC2 medals. I don't have the full set. Uh, let's go unobtained, actually. <laughs> I don't even know if it shows up. 
But if it does, uh, because I just wasn't around. And <laughs> that's sort of like, um, it feels bad when you're a newer player, but at the same time, it's a case of you're rewarding players who are there with something really, really fun. Okay, no, looks like it no longer shows up quite as easily. That's unfortunate. So I can't show it quite this way. But I can show off um, my metal set collection, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it'll be here. So naturally, I don't have uh, IS-4 just yet. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, there'll be a partially completed contingency contract too. Because I was a new enough player that Scardi was my tankiest operator and I had to use her to tank out forced. <laughs> and I will never get these medals. So it's definitely part of just a you had to be there moment. And that's part of what makes it so exciting. So yes, I was also a noob. Look at this. <laughs> Judge me. <laughs> now, it looks like no one wants me to pull for them, which is very, very fair. I never announce these ahead of time, and it's more fun to pull for yourself generally. So I'll probably just do one or two... Uh, yeah, let's just go one run of IS-4 using a randomizer, and then I'll dip. I don't want the stream to be too short. <laughs> you have every single medal in the game, and nowadays you feel anxious about missing them. That is part of... I'm... <sighs> I'm really tempted to do a few videos on basic psychology. Just, I don't know how to make that fun. <laughs> a randomizer? Uh, yeah, I built a custom randomizer. It is not to date, so it won't include any of the newest operators, but... I... <laughs> when I was learning to code, I built myself a randomizer specifically for IS, back when IS2 was out. <laughs> let me get rid of the bookmarks bar, and let me make it way smaller. <laughs> uh, in a way that won't break it. <laughs> Uh, so this was during IS2, where I was really, really new and enjoying it. There we go, there we go. <laughs> siege, siege, siege. Yeah, siege is uh, definitely still possible. Oh, chat's covering? Yeah, I'll shift it, sorry. Okay, so let's start us off, let's start us off. I'll do the highest, I'll try to push. <laughs> and I'll only do one attempt, just for fun, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Dad noob going to Twitch and YouTube to chant siege. <laughs> do IS with Cutter? I've done that before, she's very, very good. You're channeling for siege? Okay. Okay, so what I'll do is, um, I'll start... The free promote squad, because that's the best squad. And I'll start the random. <laughs> gotta start random, gotta start random. I'll take whoever the pre-promoted elite is, and then I'll use the randomizer for who I choose for these. <laughs> that being said, I, I like snipers much more than vanguards, so while I still have max hope, and thus a chance of getting a 6-star, higher chance. Okay, Ash. Ash is my recruit. <laughs> yeah, this is... I, I will update this eventually. Okay, now I have enough for... 4 stars only. So let's go 4-star, Vanguard, Courier. <laughs> nice and simple, nice and simple. This is my starting team. Psychology's fun, very much so. Uh, should I? I don't want to drag down the mood. It'll probably make people sad if I tell them why I was studying basic psychology. So I, I think I won't, because I don't mind that stuff, but I don't want to make people feel sad. <laughs> and it always feels really shitty to bring that up, though a couple of you presumably already know, because I've... I have mentioned it to a few other people before. It's so Siege over, yet yeah, there was no chance for a Vanguard. You had to get lucky, Siege Gang. Oh, thank you for the subscribe, Poppin' Party. I was very confused. That didn't pop up for a second. <laughs> now, you really want to know? I mean, I can tell people if I if they want to know. Just, like, don't feel sorry for me, okay? I'm, I'm very happy now. You like the upgrade of, um... The system of upgrading relics with difficulty that feels so satisfying? I know, right? All of the ISs, I still think IS-2 is the best for me personally, but they've massively improved certain key parts with IS-3 and IS-4. So I hope they find a way to <laughs> make it more like IS-2 while keeping their improvements. Even when I'm the head developer of Arknights, I can still... <laughs> with a squad, yeah. Even as the head dev, you're absolutely right. Willpower's not something you have. Uh, it's... Hmm. Okay. As weird as it might sound, because I think I'm a lazy piece of shit most of the time, I do actually have kind of ridiculously good willpower. <laughs> the reason I was researching psychology was because for quite a few years, I wanted to game end myself in Minecraft. And I really just wanted to figure out, hey, um, I, I know I'm not going to do it because I'm a very spiteful person and <laughs> very glad I didn't. But I, I also wanted to just learn tricks to hopefully make it a bit easier. And some of them did help. So, it ended up working out in the end. Uh, plus, it was just really fun and interesting to learn about. What exactly in IS-2 do I like more than IS-4? IS-2, you have a lot more freedom in the units you use. IS-4 is very restrictive. Um, and IS-3. I think it's more easy to talk about the um, flaws, the parts of the ISs I dislike. 
In IS-4, because all of the enemies have massive amounts of speed boost, if you leak one enemy, you basically guarantee leak the whole wave, which can be really, really annoying. <laughs> Uh, it's also a case of you need certain amounts of block. Like with this stage, if you don't have two block, you basically guaranteed leak because no ranged DPS is going to kill these fast boys before they get through the blue box. <laughs> uh, in IS-3, it was sort of similar because most of the difficult stages in IS-3 are on the first floor and then it's kind of easy until the fifth floor. Which, but it feels really bad to instantly lose on the first floor because your team just was not prepared. Good lord, that's a fast sprint. Yeah, they're ridiculously quick. So that's my main problem with IS-4. Plus, um, all of the stages feel a little bit cramped. And some of the enemies, the uh, really tanky fast ones, are way too tanky. No more than usual. <laughs> Plus, all of the floor 3 bosses absolutely suck. <laughs> okay, as I did last time, I will always prioritize uh, promotion. But, uh, we this is not a promotion. Just, if the if the option to promote is ever there, I will always take it. Okay, we're getting Jatana. We're getting Jatana. <laughs> So, just to for fun run. Just breezing through while I'm yapping a bit, because I've got things to yap about. And this is effectively the only time I'm going to be streaming this week, other than um, one time on Saturday. I am unfortunately very, very busy at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's more just a case of, um, like, the change to the Originium ingot chests, for example, in IS-3, where you kill them instead of defend them. Very, very amazing change. Very, very happy about that. It was just a case of, um, outside of that... IS-2 was so much more in the spirit of what a roguelike should be, which is to say, basically any unit is fine and can work, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't like playing a roguelike and feeling like I'm being restricted. <laughs> uh, I still remember very vividly in IS-3, the first time I ever played it, I instantly lost on the very first stage of my first run, because I tried to start with Dagda, and I got the S-shaped stage where you effectively need three block and a ranged DPS, and I had a ranged DPS and a healer and one block. <laughs> so I just outright lost my first run because I did not have enough block. <laughs> and now there are also stages which require anti-flying or you leak, things like that. <laughs> so that's why I like IS-2 more, but I very, very much do understand why others like uh, the other IS's more. All of them are very, very fun. All of them are very, very different. That's just my personal two cents on it. <laughs> that being said, yeah, like... At the end of the day, you do get used to all of them. You learn how to play with them. It's just, um, in Ice 3 and Ice 4, I never feel like messing around with random operators as much. Yeah, I know it's, um, clearable with Tex Alter. The main reason I enjoyed Ice 2 was case of, uh, I mean, <laughs> a good example of this is the Dagda video I did. <laughs> where I, uh, beat up Big Sad Lock with Dagda immediately awesome. after she came out. <laughs> I started Dagda, I built all of the brawlers. Uh, you could just use kind of whoever and have a lot of fun with it. In IS-3 and IS-4, you have a lot more limited of a pool of no operators who are viable. Sure. Can kind of see it, but people like you who found IS-2 too easy, you're happy with the increased difficulty? Oh yeah, for sure. It's definitely harder. Definitely more friendly towards being endgame content. Uh, both of the new ISs. Like, there are lots of things that they massively, massively improved in the later versions. I'm by no means blind to that. Just a case of I personally was more of a fan of the other ones. Okay, let's dump all of our Originium ingots. How's the fifth anniversary live stream doing? I generally don't watch any of the anniversary live streams, including the EN ones, because they run at 1am for me. And then by the time I wake up, people have already highlighted all of the cool moments that happened, so I can just tune in and see the highlights without having to I don't get the excitement of watching it live, so I just go for what's the really cool things. <laughs> and then I just uh, squee in silence, uh, stoically, Too bad some <laughs> by myself. <laughs> How many squats have I squatted? I did a total of uh, 39 squats because we did 42 pulls, three of which were Hodora. It rewards you for learning mechanics and stages. Yeah. IS-3 does kind of do that, but at the same time, it's like, if you get out of control and you don't have the right unit, you just lose, you know? There are less stages like that. The best way to describe it is... In IS-2, the main, hey, if you aren't prepared for this, you will lose stages, were floor 5. <laughs> in IS-3 and 4, they are like floor 1. <laughs> uh, to be fair, IS-4 also does have a lot of uh, late game stages being very, very difficult. Just not as fun. I'm not a big fan of the movement speed mechanic. 
I very much remember losing a couple runs where I will leak one enemy or a ranged unit will kill my... Uh, yeah, one of the anti-air drones will kill one of my ranged units. And then before that ranged unit is back off cooldown, 13 more <laughs> aerial enemies spawn and leak before my one sniper is back up. So I make one mistake and as a result, 13 enemies are guaranteed to leak. To that doesn't feel very fun. <laughs> Three hold the doors? Insane. Yeah, yeah, three hold the door! Hold the door! I never really watched Game of Thrones, but no shade to anyone who enjoyed it. Now, I'm pretty sure these two leak. This is another example of, um... Oh, no, no, I catch them just in time. But that's another example of, I really don't like how quick all of the enemies are. It means if you make a mistake, you have no chance to catch up. And because I have <laughs> metaphorically fat fingers and very slow reaction times... <laughs> I often leak uh, just by making a mistake and misclicking, and the enemies are so quick that I'll never get a chance to correct that. You remember out of control exists and pick up some beforehand. That is a viable solution, but it, it doesn't fix the problem. It's a way around it, but it limits who you take because you need to have an operator prepared for out of control, or you just hope you don't get it. Because if you don't have an operator who's... <laughs> a very good counter to out of control and you get out of control emergency version as your only option, you just lose. <laughs> so the run completely dies unless you change how you play the game to prepare for a certain stage, which I personally just like, I, I get why a lot of people find it fun. <laughs> I do completely get that. I just personally don't. Okay, let's see. Yeah, start with SP. That's way, way better. And yeah, no shame at all in enjoying Eyes 3 or Eyes 4 more. <laughs> These are just my opinions. It's not like Pinch Out Operation or Design of Strife, where it's just kind of, objectively speaking, these are very badly designed game modes. <laughs> this is a case of, oh, this is something I like. How do I feel about being uh, six months being behind? How do I feel about being six months behind of CN? I'm relatively fine with it. They were catching up for a while, and it did lead to the game feeling a bit stressed and way too fast. I'm actually really, really looking forward to this current event because we can just farm whatever we need and I'm short a lot of key materials. <laughs> oh, thank you for the subscribe, Wind of Fiddle. Sorry, I can't quite see the full name. <laughs> was Pinch Out that bad? I didn't find it that hard. Pinch Out was contingency contract if the highest tier of rewards was uh, at risk 30 or 25 maybe. 25 is probably more fair. Uh, but yeah, risk 25 instead of 18. Which is to say, yeah, if you're a later game player, it's fine, it's whatever. But they raised the difficulty for no real reason and just made it super, super unfriendly to newer players. Uh, even older players, if you weren't running metacomps. Part of the charm of CC was seeing what random BS you could get away with. <laughs> and you just kind of couldn't do that in Pinch Out because you needed to use meta operators, otherwise you just lost. Pinch Out scaled to Design of Strife. <laughs> Don't give them ideas, they'll do it. <laughs> And yeah, here's, a, here's another example of why I don't like IS-4. This guy is so ridiculously tanky, and all the other enemies are so ridiculously fast, that they're basically guaranteed to leak because my AoE snapped them, <laughs> and they're there for 10 years. <laughs> and the second they get lightly tapped once, they just instantly leak, despite being multiple tiles. Because of how short all of the stages are, you really feel the lack of tiles. <laughs> if that's a good way to explain it. Not hard, but annoying. Yeah, pretty much. And yeah, I'm pretty sure both of these units leak. This guy, he does one more loop, but it doesn't matter because his loops take a total of 10 seconds, so I won't have my caster up in time. And then I might be able to kill this guy. You couldn't select specific not contracts in Pinch Out. All of the contracts in Pinch Out were kind of really, really restrictive. In CC, it was things like enemies gain 20 to 40% bonus health. <laughs> in Pinch Out, it was enemies gain a fixed 1,000 defense. <laughs> and because of how high the requirements were, you did need to take a lot of very, very brutal contracts, unfortunately. Uh, as in, you just genuinely didn't have an option. Um, otherwise, you just did not get the rewards. So yeah, Pinch Out definitely had improvements over CC, just overall it was mostly worse. Not 100% worse, just mostly. <laughs> okay, Kawara, it's your time to shine. Hopefully I can sandwich this guy. Uh, come on. Come on, Ash. He's not immune to stuns. Oh, and if you ever get the chance of using Kirito against this guy, it's very, very funny. She is immune to stuns if you use her S2 until... <laughs> until her S2 entirely expires. <laughs> so you guarantee get the full channel of her S2 out. 
<laughs> you remember doing CC 10 risk 18 with Roberta? It's fun. But with pinch out, you had to bring meta ops? Yeah. You can't do goofy strats in pinch out. In a lot of the earlier CCs, you very much could. You got the rewards, you just picked and chose the correct contracts. Yeah, it's, um, I was also able to get all of the rewards, but I could regularly push risk 25 in contingency contract. The different being there was more variety in what you could and couldn't do in pinch out there was a lot fewer operators who were viable jessica shield is immune to stun yes it is <laughs> it's very goofy less creativity yeah that's a that's a very good way to put it there's not as much creativity in pinch out okay now we get a random specialist oh do i need to make this larger yes <laughs> so i'm not very good oh yay phantom i'm not very good at um what's the word CSS or programming as a whole. <laughs> so there are some scuffed parts. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 25 is crazy, not gonna lie. I mean, it was uh, middle of the pack. It just means you're a bit of a sweat lord. <laughs> no shame in that though. But in Pinch Out, it felt like that was the default. And it feels really bad. Like part of the reason I really don't like Design of Strife is because it's so, so easy to <laughs> miss out. On rewards because you need to beat s3 at max difficulty to get all of the rewards and that feels really really bad it feels really bad to miss out on things permanently <laughs> you were in the sweet spot where your account was only built enough that you needed to push as hard as possible to clear it that's good the first time uh, you reach that point but from the, what's more likely to happen is you probably reached that stage right as this event came out meaning it was your event it was the first time you were truly, fully pushed to your limits. And as a result, it will have been really, really fun. <laughs> and that makes me very happy. <laughs> uh, but if you'd played a lot of uh, CCs and already been pushing yourself, and then you just get stuck with, well, okay, I the easiest version to get the max, I, like you have no choice but to do the equivalent of a very strong push just to get the minimum rewards, then's when it, then's when it starts to feel really bad, if that makes sense. What is this IS4 thing? Uh, this is IS4. <laughs> uh, I'm currently just doing a randomizer and yapping because I got Hodora three times in 40 pulls. <laughs> so I'm kind of done pulling. Sorry, if I was good at tech, I would change the title. But for what it's worth, I'm only doing... <laughs> I'm mainly just yapping now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if you got baited. I will probably be editing... The pulling down to a video because it took no time at all. So <laughs> it won't take much time to edit. But yeah, I uh, I made people very mad by getting insanely lucky. <laughs> Is basically what happened. Chapter 3? Uh, sorry, I don't understand the context of that question. Probably me having a skill issue. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's put Kuora here. Gameplay bugged. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that is. That's weird. Oi. Oi. Devs, what is this? <laughs> what the hell, OBS? I'm mid-stage. Why is Arknights frozen? <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it freezed, yeah. Wait, why do you want me to play Chapter 3 specifically? Do you mean Chapter 13? Chapter 3's been out a while. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, I've never seen OBS do that before. That was very strange. Okay, <laughs> Phantom, let's Utai, Utai. Man, I love his voice so much. <laughs> CC12 was cranked up. Yes, but there were also operators who uh, completely trivialized it. So it was simultaneously cranked up and ridiculously easy. <laughs> the duality of man. CC11 risk 24 with Cutter, but now it's just damage and meta. CC was really, really good at letting you just mess around with random operators. That's what why people liked CC, despite its many, many flaws. <laughs> and hey, it was, considering all of their later attempts are worse than CC, <laughs> it was a very good attempt <laughs> at endgame content <laughs> for their first one. Now, I'm pretty sure this boss is immune to stun. We'll find out in just a second. Oh no, he's not immune to stun. Oh yes, he is. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I hate this boss. I probably lose here, in which case I'll end the run here. <laughs> I won't go for another. Uh, let's just leak the boss. If he takes 3 HP, we lose. That's fine. <laughs> I accept my fate. They should bring CC back. Yeah, good news. <laughs> okay, it does. 
Luna Cub was a nice problem solver. Luna Cub is really underrated, and part of that is because all of her skills are actively bad to use. You don't want to use any of Luna Cub's skills. <laughs> she gets worse when you raise her skill level because it tempts you into using her skills. <laughs> Luna Cub has permanent camouflage when no skills are activated. So just April, but instead of fast redeploy, the invisibility is permanent. She's really, really fun to mess around with. But as a result, she's just as strong at skill level 1 as she is at maxed. <laughs> just never, ever activate her skills. <laughs> Should have brought Kata. Nah, Kata's not very good against that boss. Plus it was a randomizer, so it's not like I had much choice. Let me shut that, let me shut that. One of these days I'll update it. It's quite out of date. I think it um doesn't even have the chapter 12 units. Alrighty, that will probably be it for today. Uh, I <laughs> still a very short stream <laughs> because I got ridiculously lucky with my pulls. Should have rolled Indra. Yeah, <laughs> if I'd rolled Indra, that would have been way easier. I do like Indra. Her S2 gives her more camo if she kills, so it's not always bad. Her S2 gives her like a tiny bit of camo for a few seconds <laughs> versus just having it permanently. Her S2 raises her DPS. Like, it's not the worst. That's a lot of extra DPS. But it lasts five seconds. <laughs> so it's really bad unless there's a lot of weak enemies, in which case, why are you using Luna Cub's skill? <laughs> why are you dropping her camo if there's a whole bunch of weak enemies around for more DPS, you know? So it's just one of those weird cases of, um, it doesn't really synergize with her intended main mechanic. Alrighty. Thank you all so much for coming. Very short stream today. Sorry about that, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I will hopefully see some of you on Saturday. I'm trying out something new. Uh, that being said, it's um, <laughs> it's not going to be the world's most entertaining thing, so I completely get it if people don't show up. <laughs> this was the only idea I could come up from for just chatting that wouldn't require extensive preparation. Uh, so I will be reading the entire Wikipedia page for Julius Caesar. I'm practicing for something else uh, that I can't really talk about. Because you know how I said I'm mostly better at focusing on individual projects and finishing them? Yeah, that's a mostly. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time, Sam. Bye-bye, Light. Raise your seed. Yes, sir, Det Noob. And thanks for coming, Muffin with Nothing. Bye-bye, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. And if you haven't pulled already on Hodora, good luck. You got this. Just promise squats and he will show up. <laughs> Farewell, see you next time. Bye-bye. Catch you around.